Welcome to session 9 of Complexity Explorer's MESA tutorial, an agent based modeling in Python. In this session, we'll start the first of four sessions that focus on uh, moving our agents across the Sugarscape landscape so they can identify the best location to move to uh, in order to survive and thrive. So let's get started. Please open up your Google Colab instance. And so to start, you want to make sure that your sugarmap.txt file is available to your Google Drive, either by mounting your drive uh, or by manually uploading it through the file system. All right, then we can import our dependencies. Since we'll really be using this, you also have the option if you added a header to collapse them. All right, we then have our sugar and spice resource classes uh, where they grow yeah, one unit per step. All right, and we can collapse that and run both of those cells at once. Here's our trader agent. We'll spend the majority of the uh, of the rest of this tutorial building out our agent behaviors, and then our instantiation of the model class, where there's a lot of code to instantiate uh, our environment, right? And then from our last lessons to step our sugar and spice, right? Uh, just to make sure that it's still working uh, from the last time. What we'll do is we'll run our class, right? Run our instantiation of that model. It still seems like it's all working. All right, so uh, for this one, we can just move down to one step count and get rid of this print statement. All right, and now we'll focus on how we uh, uh, step our agents. So again, we're using a pretty uh, unique step tool that we can use uh, Mesa step functions as well as customize it. One of the advantages of Mesa. All right, so the first thing we need to uh, do uh, is build out our move step function. Right, uh, and the trick here uh, is that how agents move matters. Right, so this reference, uh, "Who Goes First by Dr. Ken Comer out of George Mason, really is a great study on why uh, the agent order actually matters and can produce different results based off what activation regime you decide. In this case, we use random activation to make sure there isn't a first mover or second mover advantage uh, or any other type of mover advantage. Now, the trick with this uh, is that our agents can die, right? And per uh, Python, you can't, um, if you're iterating through a dictionary and you start removing uh, uh, keys, that, that produces a runtime error, right? So we need to set the conditions that we can remove agents uh, at each step uh, if they, in fact, uh, you know, run out of energy and, and effectively die, need to be removed. So to do that, uh, what we have to do is first uh, get our list of trader agents. So using Python or correction Mesa's activation by type, uh, just like we did for sugar and spice, uh, we will get um, uh, all a list of our trader objects. All right. So if we do uh, values, this will give us a list of trader agent objects. All right. So now the next thing we want to do, right, is wrap those in a list uh, so that way we can iterate through it uh, more efficiently and uh, remove agents. Okay, All right, and so then with that list, right, um, and actually, if you look at this, we got traders, we got capital T trader, right. It's always good to try and make your uh, you naming your variables as clear as possible. So as traders is probably a little bit too ubiquitous uh, throughout this uh, uh, throughout the code we have so far. Uh, we're going to change this to trader shuffle just to make it a little bit clearer and more readable for uh, anybody else that may take a look at this code. All right, so now we have trader shuffle, right? Comments are always good, so we want to explain to any user uh, you know, what we're thinking here, and as well as to remind ourselves uh, why we had to, to uh, uh, you know, make these choices. So in this case, we want to account for agent death and removal, right? which uh, I, if we did purely in the Python dictionary structure, would result in a runtime error. So we're going to uh, make some notes to that effect. Uh, and now that we have our list of uh, trader agents, right, we'll want to randomize it to account uh, to kind of mitigate uh, any type of mover advantage based off their position. All right. Uh, so we can use Python's uh, uh, primitive uh, random library and shuffle, right, uh, and then just put in. Uh, our list trader shuffle. Now, if we look at the documentation for that, we know that it actually doesn't return anything. It just takes that object where it's that list object where it's stored and shuffles it all up. So, just by running this command, uh, we know that uh, 
that that list of trader agent objects will be uh, will be random. That uh, we'll build here in just a section, a uh, second. Uh, so all right, what we're doing is we create a list of our uh, trader agent objects, right? And then uh, we shuffle that list so that every time we run a step function, uh, each agent is in a different movement layer, right? So this will be a function. This agent dot move is now a function that we have to build uh, in our trader dot class. So we'll run that. And then we'll go up to our trader class, right? And we'll add this function into our trader class. So this is our initialization uh, of our trader class, right? And so now we build uh, the move function, right? So it'll just be uh, def uh, move, right? And then open parentheses, self, close parentheses. Okay, and now for this one, we just want to make sure that our model class calling our trader class uh, is working. All right, so we'll just add a print statement, uh, maybe a little bit more verbose than necessary, but it says I am an agent, all right? Uh, then to make sure it's iterating through uh, each of the agents, all right? Uh, and I'm about to move, right? And we'll use Python's dot format syntax, right? So we put curly braces for where we want to put the variable, uh, and then we'll have it call it self dot unique ID, so that way we know it's changing agents as, as it iterates through that. All right, uh, and so this will allow us to kind of test to make sure that our calling uh, of the um, uh, our calling of the move function uh, is in fact giving us a randomized list uh, of our agents. Right? Uh, so we'll run that. Okay, store it in memory. Right. Uh, then we go down to where we call our model class. Right. Uh, and instantiate it and run it once. All right. And sure enough, we get a um, uh, sure enough, we get a, you know a randomized list uh, of our agents. And if you want, you can clear that output. All right. If you also want, you can uh, save a copy of this so we're stored there. All right. Uh, and so that wraps up uh, session nine. All right. Uh, on our first part of moving agents. All right. In the next three lessons, uh, we'll have them identify where to go based off their best choice in order to survive and thrive within the sugar and spice landscape. See you next time.